What's up, y'all? It's T Biz here, and now we're uh, back again with some Dungeons Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Or not amongst, but among thieves. This is from the Golden Golden Archive Wave. Excuse me, pardon me. Anyways, and um, yeah, thanks for everybody commenting lately and stuff and, and leaving some love. I really appreciate it. I don't know why I went on a crazy rant on the last few videos, but I do know why. But looking back at it, it's kind of silly, and it's like, why'd you do that? But I know why I did it, because I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm either a narcissist or a nihilist, or I don't know what altogether, or this or that, or I'm damaged goods. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But anyways, who cares? Let's just check out this figure. Once again, we got plastic-free packaging, which I like. So, you know, bite me. Anyways, but, uh, yeah, um, yeah, Holga. I'm going to check out Holga. This is from Modern D&D, um, PlayD&D.com. My cousin, Zero, he is a D&D &D man. And, um, oh, man, somebody, you can tell somebody at my store. I bought this at the store. We're good. And they already took their their knife cutter to the case and <laughs> their box cutter and already 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 cut it but it's not a big deal anyways holga is a fierce barbarian from the uthgart elk tribe with a surprising warm heart so there we go that's cool man and they also got the little dice links little transforming dice figures at work too so kind of wanted to check one of those out but might wait till uh later in the week and see what they got left anyways uh yeah let's check this uh, figure out and you know and uh before we do that actually got to check out some artwork it's not bad and also got to give up, um, I don't know, man, hysteria or whatever, or just not hysteria, but just the fact of news lately of the world of toys that Hasbro is catching a lot of shit. They really, really are. They're really, really getting it, man, these days. And um, a lot of bad stuff, a lot of bad news from them. But with Hasbro, I just cherry pick. You know, I like Star Wars. I like Transformers. Cherry pick Marvel stuff, you know. And um, I could do without all the TV show regular looking people and movie figures because those are just lame to me. But when they put out a good X-Men character or something, that's always badass. Or a decent Spider-Man character, rogue, you know, rogue or whatever. It's, it's always cool or villain or whatever. But anyways, I'm going to shut up and we're going to check this figure out. And as a proper unboxing, we're going to go ahead and like uh, do this. Like, let's see if we can get her out. We used to do this in old school days and we're going to do it now. So yeah, there we go. And there she is. Ah, oh, it's caramel code cracker. I can't remember who left that comment. It's like a Cracker Jack box. But uh, it feels like you're opening up a treat, man. It really does. Either that or medicine or something. It's actually plastic crack. But yeah, hold on. So here are weapons. Ah, oh, fresh. Fresh plastic crack. Anyways, and... It's not, it's not a, it's not a pot pie, or it's not a hostess pie, or a fruit pie for Bobby Hill. It's an action figure. So there we go. Cool. Right off the bat, folks, I'm not going to BS you. This figure, um, I don't know about her. She, her face sculpt is kind of, um, iffy. It's, I don't know, man. This isn't that great. I don't know, man. I'm not going to lie. Cool little tattoos and stuff. But, um, Yeah. It looks like some kind of burned scar, or some kind of scarring right there. That's kind of cool. That's rad. There's a lot of good detail, but she feels really weird, and she looks really weird, to be honest with you. Not much going on. She looks a lot cooler in that picture right there, and that picture than she does right here. Her feet are kind of weird. Because if you look at the bottom of her feet, they're not one and the same at all. I don't know if it's a defect or if it's just the way it's made. That's just kind of weird. One of her heels is shorter than the other. I don't like it. <laughs> it's not cool. Because um, usually I'm always going, oh, this is pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, here's one of her axes. That I think you can peg in. Yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, that's one of her accessories. So, that's cool. An axe. It's not bad. It just pops out and then pops back in. And then she has a spear, some kind of spear thing which I don't know where the hell this goes or what it can plug into. Oh, I guess it can go plug into something, man. We'll figure it out in a minute, I guess. Okay. I guess you could actually give her a longer ax handle or whatever, and it could be like a spear and an ax, okay. And then she's got a knife. So that's not a knife. This is a knife, but it's all brown looking. It's weird. All right, some kind of dagger. I don't know. I don't know what the hell. Um, yeah, she's weird, man. Let's check out articulation. Her arms go out. 
She's got pinless, well, she doesn't have double elbows at all. So no, no, not right there, not at all. Um, hand swivel, I don't know if there's a hinge. There's, a, there's an up and down hinge, same here. It looks like, yeah, up and down hinge. Um, got a little bit of a diaphragm thing going. I think somewhat of a waist, but doesn't swivel all the way. So you got little range there, little range there. It swivels all around the diaphragm. Um, she can't do good splitsies, or can't. She's got a thigh cut. She's got double knees. Let's see if we can, yeah, get those double knees to go. They're all pinless, but uh, yeah. Um, then she's got like a, her feet are weird. I really don't like her feet. Um, and they're hindered by her, whatever wrappings around her boots are. Just doesn't seem like you get any good range out of her feet, to be honest with you, besides like a up and down. I mean, they kind of go a little side to side, but you can get a, somewhat almost to a swivel, but they're hindered. So yeah. Other than that, man, I don't know, man. I don't know about this figure. I guess you could plug this in her back to put her axe in there. So there you go. So she has her axe. Um, yeah, this figure is not that great. It's kind of horrible. And this it's funny because out of all these, because I don't do a lot of modern D and D, and I know my cousin, you know, he's a modern D. He's a all time lifetime D and D guy for a long time and um yeah this is just like kind of modern D&D &D characters um yeah I don't know man I don't know about this figure we're gonna try to get her posed up and see if we can get some kind of cool pose with her but I don't I don't, I don't know man <laughs> I don't I really don't feel like you're gonna be able to get a lot of kick-ass poses with her at all um her feet are just so weird that yeah she's kind of got that that Captain Carter thing going on but Captain Carter actually stands a lot better than she does uh, but yeah, they're just really not cool with their feet. Their feet suck ass. Um, I feel like I really wasted my money with this figure. There's a lot of good things about this figure, but there's enough bad things to where she's just not that cool. I mean, the hair sculpt is cool. Like, if you look at it, check it out. Let's break it down. All right, hair sculpt's pretty badass. It's just pretty cool. But the way it's kind of, the hair's just kind of plopped on, just looks totally fake. It just doesn't really blend in very well. Face sculpt isn't bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Her eyes look a little weird, but you know. And other than that, a lot of the sculpting is really cool. Her accessories are pretty cool. They did a really good job on the sculpting, but the feet are just utter dog shit. And this is cool. These are this braided stuff right here. I don't know if it's like a horse's mane or what. Or some chick that she scalped or something. I don't know, but... The details are there. That's a cool scar right there. Burn, like, burn scar or whatever. But it's just not, there's just not much to her really to do with. Yeah, this figure's all. horrible. Um, I tried to do as much as I could do with her. And there's just, with her feet being shitty, it's just, there's just, there's no way of getting around that. There's really no way. And um, I feel bad. And, um, and uh, yeah, I feel like I wasted some money. And But I had to do, I had to take that hit because, you know, it's funny. Maybe I should have got the... I think the problem with this is, like, I, I saw this figure, and I was like, man, she looks really cool. Let's check her out. She might be badass, and she totally sucks. So maybe it's the derpy dudes, or whoever, other derpy characters, that might be a lot cooler and, like, might be able to pose the heck out of them or something. But, yeah, this is pretty bad. This is not good. Anyways, I took the hit for you, so you don't have to. You know, that, that's, my, that's my loss, but maybe your gain somehow. And if you're smart, like, Overlord's... Uh, my buddy Overlord Productions, if you're smart like his dad, Papa Overlord, Mr. Overlord, or Mr. Brian, actually, I should say, um, you wait till he's gone discount and get them, hopefully, for a reasonable price, or they should be free, but it's, like, just a really bad, bad figure, man, just really bad, even, even her, she doesn't even have a chest, look at, like, she's got, you can see she has breasticles right there, but I've got bigger boobs than her, that's crazy. Not that every woman has to have boobs, but it's just the anatomy is just shit. It's just bad. It's horrible. It's really, she almost looks like the dude who plays Loki and stuff, man. It's like, it's not a good one. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, y'all, I guess. I don't know. Please feel 
free to thumb this down if that's still a thing. But yeah, go thumb 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 down like a like a mofo. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, y'all. I guess I don't know. Later. Ugh.